Okay, we're in round two. We don't have any black mana, but I'm pretty tempted to keep this hand, because once again, the Sanctum Seeker is like our strongest card. So, I'm going to keep it. It's a bit dangerous. I mean, I guess we are on the draw, which is probably better for this hand anyway. Seeing the extra card, hopefully finding that swamp earlier. Well, I guess when you have five of these. So we could just rip swamp, rip swamp, and be looking pretty sexy, actually. Just Skyblade into Seeker, and then another Skyblade, and just start flying over top. Well, not quite what I was hoping for. Okay. Skullduggery should be good for that. Wonder why they didn't pump the firebrand. I guess that makes sense now. Okay, well probably better anyway that they countered the Skyblade than countering like a Deacon or Sanctum Seeker but I mean we still we're gonna have to see our black mana at some point in order to win but we rip Swamp into Swamp we're actually looking pretty good Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Um, so the issue is, if I sack a planes, I can't play my deacon. Until the following turn. I think I'm still going to do it. Because I feel like the issue is, Um, so we'll stay back now. They have two cards left in hand. And our plan is to double block the Firebrand if they attack with it. We'll see what Skullduggery can do for us. Okay. So I guess the plan is to kill the Firebrand. So, pump our guy, and unfortunately we can't kill the snake, but we'll reduce the damage we take and kill their guy. So, black mana would be good. Now we can at least go Seeker and a 
attack. One card left in their hand. Okay. Okay. Still okay. Still okay. So they can double block our Sanctum Seeker and kill it. So I have to be conscious of that. Ooh, Bishop. That's good too. So definitely want to play the Deacon here. Question is, am I just attacking with the sky blades? I think yes, I am. So we'll be up to eight. And then next turn with the Bishop of the Bloodstain, we should be okay. I mean, I'm trying to think. I think we can even afford to... We'll see. I'm kind of curious. Because we could definitely win next turn, even if we didn't have an anointed deacon. Because this would make them lose four and take to five. Then we attack with three, take them to two, and then these could kill them. So it might be in our best interest to... We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm curious. Okay. And this is... Who has dealt... Com, con, uh, gain control of target non-land permanent control by a player who has dealt combat damage by three or more pirates. So, they only have two pirates, so we don't have to worry about that. They have one card left in their hand. They can't play Unfriendly Fire. Okay. So, I think what we do is we just, uh, we just block here. Because we died a Sure Strike if I don't block. So, I'm just going to block here. And next turn, with the Bishop of the Bloodstain, we should just win. Like I said, it prevents us from dying to Sure Strike, which I think is good. Or like Lightning Strike, too. There's actually just a couple of cards that kill us. So we're going to play the Bishop. We're going to make them lose four. And we're going to smash with the Skyblades and the Sanctum Seeker. And that should be lethal, by my count. All right, cool. Lucky to get there, especially with missing that black mana the whole time. But Sanctum Seeker is the real deal in our deck. So, uh, yeah, this would definitely be a match where multiple Skullduggeries would be nice. We do have to worry about the Admiral Beckett Brass, although we have Vanquish and Walk the Plank, so we can deal with their stuff. Uh, did they show us removal? I can't recall. I'm trying to think of March of the Drown. Still good. Probably is fine. Um... But yeah, we'll run it back. Okay, there's a keep. Ceratops is the odd man out here, but we have the Conquistador turn one, which is basically the only time it's really good. And we have a turn two Skyblade, so okay. 
All in all, it seems fine to me. Glorifier is pretty good too. No blue mana yet. That's good. Unfortunately, cannot attack into that, but maybe we'll rip a Skullduggery or something. No, nope, not quite. So we could double block the Firebrand if it attacks. Or we could take it. If it double blocks and they have a Sure Strike, we're kind of blown out. So I guess we don't want to do that. So we're going to take it. Like, th they also got just Depths, Perilous Voyage. There's quite a few things that are pretty nasty there. All right. Okay, Marauding Looter is going to be pretty tough. So, yeah, I've got some pretty serious concerns here. Could try and triple block the Looter, but it's just too disruptible. So, I think our plan is to just get in with Skyblade and maybe hope to rip a removal spell of some sort. I mean, we'll have Glorifier next turn, I guess. But this is going to be a little bit of a challenging race. I guess we're like a Sanctum Seeker away from doing some pretty good work, though. Gaining some life back. So we're going to take another pretty big hit here. And then think about what we want to do. Re-evaluate. I guess I could, uh, I'm, you know, I may just double block the Fathom Fleet Firebrand here because they could get the two for one with the removal spell, but then, oh, now they don't want to. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Discarding looter, that's worrisome. Um, Blightkeeper. So, yeah, we're definitely not winning this race, so I guess we'll keep everything back. Alright, looks like we're getting countered here, yep. So, nothing to be done there. Do we have a good block? I guess at this point we're going to probably go for the triple block. It's not good, we're getting blown out by anything, but... We can't win the race. We're not able to play spells, so we're just not left any other options. Yeah, it looks like we're probably just going to get wrecked here, but I don't know what to do about it. So, kind of a bummer, but that's all right. So we'll just triple block here, probably just get, I don't know, one bounce spell, one removal spell, and pretty much completely blown out. Well, 
That ended up being a pretty good trade. Well, removal's not going to help us. Alright, so we play the Blake Keeper and pass. I think that we just die. Not 100%, but it would appear that we probably just die. Because... Well, let me think. If I double block, I have to triple block a headstrong brute, and then I just lose my keeper and my conky sword. That seems bad. Another option is to double block the firebrand, but then we take six, and we will just lose one of our guys, probably the flyer. <clears throat> but then I'm going to need four block, and we're at one, so that probably isn't going to work. I guess that we just triple block up thing here. They're going to get the two for one. Oh, well not if they do it like that again. Okay. They reordered correctly. Yeah, and then the problem is we're going to have the Ceratops, but it's just not going to do anything. So, basically lost just from some completely unexciting draws on our part. It was basically just like, saw some spells, they didn't do much of anything. Opponent just was able to completely outvalue us basically the whole match. So, Charter Course is a fantastic card. Very, very strong. Exceptionally strong two-drop spell. Um, but yeah, I mean, this definitely feels like a match we should win. Not should win, but can win. Like, I'm not going to show them going Ceratops because we're dead anyway. But yeah, we just got completely just manhandled there. Just did a, lot of, a whole lot of nothing. Did a lot of nothing... Uh, we did nothing exceptionally well, though, so I'll give us that. Uh, let's see. Judgment doesn't really deal with much. Conquistador seems pretty bad, so I want to replace it. I'm not sure what with. Maybe just another flyer. I'm not sure if that does anything at all, but Conquistador seemed pretty bad overall, so I think we'll cut that and we'll bring in another flyer and we'll run it back. All right, we'll play first. Sand needs some help, but I guess we'll keep it. It's kind of a bummer seeing all this expensive stuff, but no choice. All right, well, that's a powerful card in our deck. The unfortunate thing is we need land now immediately or we're probably just going to lose. All right. Oops. Almost F6 through my attack. All right, so I think we're going to probably lose now. We probably maybe get one turn left to draw land. Maybe one. Maybe one turn to draw land. We don't draw a tur uh, land next turn, though. We are, we're just going to die. Pretty much GG's, so we'll play it out, but it's kind of a waste of my and your time at this point. So managed to go 4-drop into 5-drop into 5-drop when we're land-starved, so pretty unfortunate, because like I said, I think our deck is okay if we can draw a reasonable distribution of lands and spells, but remember, that's 40% 40, 40 of magic is this. This is 40% of magic. Didn't see the right... Saw too many lands. 40%. Didn't see enough lands. 40%. So I, I have to constantly remind myself of that. Which is interesting. I've been playing this game 20 years. And this still frustrates me. After 20 years of playing this game. 
these situations still frustrate me. But I don't know why they do. Like, this is 40% of magic. This is what magic is. Almost, you know, I guess it's not almost half the time, but it's much more often than I think people realize that it just came down to, yeah, I didn't draw lands, or yeah, I just top deck lands. So, couldn't even draw the land I needed there, which hurts, too. I mean, I needed, I, you know, I, I really wanted that second swamp to at least be able to kill something. But it, the funny thing is how far we are from playing anything of substance. I guess we're just a black away from playing the Sanctum Seeker. But, yeah, this, this, hand, uh, this hand is something. So... I assume they're probably just going to play an Arsonist, and then I'll sack a Blightkeeper, and then ideally draw a Swamp and walk the Plank on the Arsonist, is my hope. So, look at that. I can almost tell the future. So, Skyblade, and we'll pass. And then we'll take entirely too much damage, and then we'll die the next turn, and then we'll go to match three. I'm just going to concede because there is no road to recovery. So, all right, we'll see you in round three.